Hey people, it is June 3rd today, and it is a lovely day here in the ATL. Um, I'm not looking so hot yet, I was just actually kind of out here singing to myself, and I thought I'd record the fan message, because I've got to upload onto the computer so I can have more space on my camera. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to sing today. Um, but yeah, I've kind of been like really lazy, and so I've been deleting like days worth of stuff. Like I'll sit out here and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to film, and I'll do all my filming, and, and I'll sing some songs. And then like the next day I'll come around, and I'll be like, okay, I want to film, and then I won't get up and put them on the computer, and I'll just delete them. So I guess I should put them on the, on the computer today so you guys can watch them. But anyway, yeah, it's a really nice day out here, and, um, I just wanted to tell you guys our days are probably numbered at the current situation right now, um, simply because I'm going to pay off my credit card, and I'm going to Wisconsin, and I, I, um, I'm not sure where I'm going to stay, so I might have nowhere to stay. So, um, I probably won't have access to a computer. I'll definitely shoot film as long as I have batteries, um, but I probably won't have any money. So, it may be a stupid decision, but, uh, I'm currently... I don't want to say having relationship issues. They're not... I know it takes two to have a problem, but it's not my problem. Um, my boyfriend's not communicating with me currently, and that's because he's punishing me because I was living up there and I left. And there's a lot more involved with the story, and I'm very open about a lot of things. It wouldn't bother me to share it, with you guys, but I'm not sure how everyone else would feel about it, because um, it doesn't just involve me. But there was something, and I had to leave, um, because I made a choice. I had a decision of two choices, and I made a choice that caused me not to be able to stay there anymore, and I came home and then things didn't happen the way they were supposed to and the situation I didn't need to come home anymore because it's it's hard um, oh pretty much I got pregnant and had to come home and because I made the choice not to get an abortion so I had to come home and then I had a miscarriage, and so I was at home and couldn't really go back um, because I was living with my boyfriend and his parents. So I made a decision, and um, my boyfriend wasn't happy that I left, and um, so I'm being punished for leaving because he's unhappy and so he ignores me and doesn't talk to me or take my calls most of the time. So um, I'm just tired of being punished and I'm definitely making, I would say, a rash decision. I've done this before. I have, I have done this before in the same situation with the same boyfriend. I mean, it's been six years that we've been together. So, I've done the same exact thing before for the same exact reason. And, um, so our days are probably numbered because I'm not sure where I'm going to stay right now. And I probably won't have any money. And, um, as of now, he doesn't really want to see me. So, um, most people would say, why are you doing this? Why don't you just leave him? But, um... When you know someone's the one, it's not as easy as all that. And when you love someone, you love them. 
You don't have to love their actions, and you don't have to love the, the things that they do or the choices they make. And you can still love them without loving those things. And, um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to be going to Wisconsin pretty soon, a couple weeks. And I probably won't have access to a computer to upload videos. And, um, my camera takes a lot of batteries, and I'm not going to be able to afford to buy batteries because I'll be worrying about other things. But I will shoot things as long as I have batteries because I would love to um, film my adventure. Um, but yeah, I'm just pretty much, um, my emotions are all over the place all the time and I'm saddened and I'm hurt and I'm just, um, I'm over being punished. Um, so I'm going back and I'm giving up everything I have to go back and make a possibly life-changing stupid decision um, all so that the punishment can stop and that maybe he'll be happy in the end. If that's what it takes to make him happy, then that's, I guess, what I have to do. I don't have to do it. I am making a choice. But, um, so, I will record as much as I can beforehand. Uh, I may have to get a temporary job or, um, be working during the day just to, uh, finish paying off my credit card, um, because my six-year anniversary is next month, um, July 25th, and I had already said I was going to be up there for that, and, um, I would like to take Dan to the Blink-182 concert, um, but he told me he didn't want to go with me, so, um, I'm still going to get tickets and hope that he changes his mind because I don't think it's that much to ask of someone to go on your sixth year anniversary um, with your girlfriend to go to a concert. I'm sure he wants to go with his friends and I don't mind having a group or whatever, but um, that's what I'd like for us to do and it's his favorite band and I really want to take him. So, so that's the situation here, fans. Um, so, as long as I have the time and everything, I will be filming from the hammock, and, uh, then I'll probably be taking a plane up there, the tickets are cheap, I hear they are right now, and, um, so I'll film my adventure and eventually get it uploaded on a computer if, um, if I stay safe. <laughs> I will stay safe, but you never know what other people do, so, um, I am a smart person, and I am an intelligent individual, as you can probably see and guess, but when your emotions are going crazy, and when you're constantly being hurt, you make decisions that aren't smart or aren't intelligent, in the hopes to stop the hurting. So that's what I'm doing, and yes, I've done it before, and I've had to suffer the consequences before in the past. Um, I did this in February, and uh, ended up coming back two days later, and cost my parents about $400 for a plane ticket for me, and um, as you can see, I obviously don't have a job, and I've been just, I don't want to say wallowing in self-pity, because I do take my medicine, and I do try and get better, um, and feel better, but it's very hard when you have a difficult situation in your life, and, um, so I had to suffer those consequences of coming back and not having the money or immediate funds to be able to go back or plan a way for me to live. And, um, I guess, maybe you could say I'm insane. It's like that, uh, quote by Einstein. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. 
So, I don't know what will happen, but uh, just wanted to tell you guys our time is probably uh, limited. So, um, anything you want to tell me, I would be happy to hear. Anything that you want to say to me, I would love to hear it. Um, I got some compliments on, um, that would be my sister, and I don't appreciate that. I got some compliments on um, a Cure song, and that made me feel great. So, um, I love your comments, and I love um, the views and everything that you guys do for me, and uh, watching the videos and stuff. So, that's great, and I appreciate it. So, um, I'm going to go upload these to the computer, and then um, come back out looking all pretty to film. So I'll see you guys then.